Property Fund was established in 1984 and is one of South Africa's original and largest, largest property unit trusts, funds rather, having acquired Pangborn in 2011. Capsule focuses on A-grade commercial properties and has a market cap of 18.3 billion rand. Its distributions are around 6% pre-tax. So this has been one that you have had a favorable view on for a while. Am I correct, Kundai? Yeah. It is. It, uh, it's, it's what we would call one of our core holdings in our portfolio. It's a very well-run uh, property company. With and you want us to look at the share price. When, he, when yeah. he says it's one of our core holdings, he moved back so that we could <laughs> take in view of this great uh, looking graph here. To be honest, I mean, it, it, to be fair, it hasn't performed as well as the other ones in the last uh, 12 months or so. And it's partly a reason why we're still holding on as a core holding. Short term, we think that the earnings uh, growth won't be as good as the sector, and by short term, I mean 12 to 18 months. But they do have a massive development pipeline, excellent management team, and I think as they work some of the vacancies out of the system, uh, we expect this to re-rate. So, core holding. Value unlock, yeah. when's it going to come? Look, this is a real testament to what you can achieve over many decades with property because you can uh, access funding, obviously, for properties. The banks are quite happy on the idea that the building is at least not going to run away. So they've basically pieced together this great portfolio of properties. You know, if you go through the list on their website, you would not necessarily know all of the buildings, but you'd be amazed by the, the breadth of their stuff the properties, mostly, as you said in your introduction, they're A-grade corporate properties, really sort of flagship head office type stuff, as well as some, you know, second level distribution centers and things like that. Uh, Barry Stuhler, the management uh, key personality there, you know, they've really lived this thing right from back in the day and and you want that from a management team you very good at cost control very company. good at you know identifying good sites very good at managing all the intermediaries that are involved with the property uh, management and administration focus they are now also proposing to internalize their management structure this has now become the flavor of the month so instead of having this external relationship with resilient i think they're going to actually incorporate that, which means that you get a dilution because more shares are issued to the management team, but you don't have the ongoing cost. So I guess that's the only unknown for me is that that has that got a big impact on the valuations or is that just, you know, roll forward? Does it, Kundai? No, we, we've done the numbers and uh, the net impact is probably around uh, 2.6 million rand. And uh, given the market cap of around 18 billion, uh, 2.6 is, is a drop, a in, drop the in the ocean. So it, it's, it's yield neutral. It's actually the right thing to do. Uh, there won't be any earnings impact. You said that you're expecting it to underperform 12 to 18 months out. Then after a kicker, we're going to see it outperform. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, we so have you got time? Can you bide your time before getting into it? That was my question. You've got time. You're being paid to wait. It's trading at a slight discount to the sector. We think it's around fair value. You've got a bit of time, and uh, if you can wait beyond the 12 to 18 month period, you should do well out of the stock. Another question for Kundai, since he's our Mr. Expert here. What about uh, the conversion to real estate investment trusts? What's the Reeds. impact on these guys of that? Uh, minimal, uh, especially for the PUTs. Um, there won't be any because they've already traded as Especially a trust for company. P PUTs, which PUTs. are the property unit trusts. In the listed property sector, we've got property loan stocks and property unit trusts. It's just different structures. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, PUTs have always traded as REITs, so there will be no impact. Excellent. Hot or not on the back of that news? I'm quite positive on the whole sector because I'm optimistic, da da da, da so but I'm hot on like this one too. All right, this no, is big this enough, is big enough, enough. at 18, 18 billion. Sure. Hot or not on capital? Uh, not hot on capital. Uh, short term, it, it doesn't have the, the value unlock. Long, it's a long term story. So good long term, short term. But not value. hot right not now. Hot, no.